So let's look at some of the factors here at play in Idalia and what experts have been pointing to as we particularly saw that storm intensify from category one to category four very, very quickly. Our senior science reporter, Nicole Mortolaro, is with us this morning as we look at Adalia and that whole shift from one to four. You've been looking into how the effects of climate change could have been a factor here and could be contributing to storms like this. What were the conditions that allowed for this to happen? Well, you know, hurricanes, first of all, they need fuel. Um, and that fuel is the ocean temperatures, is warm ocean temperatures. And so as Adalia, it moved around in the Gulf and it picked up those warmer ocean temperatures, they're warmer by about one to two degrees in the Gulf. Um, and so it picked up that moisture, that heat moved along. And actually, as it got closer to the coast, it was even warmer. So we saw something called rapid intensification, which is when a hurricane jumps from, you know, a category to two categories in less than 24 hours. That's also, that's what we saw. But there's another factor at play, which is called wind shear, high wind shear, uh, dry air comes into the core and breaks it down, takes away that moisture and heat. But we saw low wind shear and that just helped feed that moisture into the core and, you know, rapidly intensify that uh, that that storm and it was it was pretty scary and what are experts predicting when it comes to whether these will become more commonplace in this whole process of rapidly intensifying hurricanes nicole well, I spoke with uh, Gabriel A. Vecchi. He's a geoscientist uh, with uh, Princeton University, and he explained it like this. Usually you define rapid intensification as an increase in intensity that only happens about 5% of the time on average. But it is it, the probability of it happening now is considerably more than 5%. And... Um, it is and 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 it's it's been growing over the last 40 years and why has it been growing over the last 40 years um we're seeing oceans warm as we're pumping more co2 gases into the air um you know by fossil fuels this is actually causing the planet to warm and the oceans which take in a lot of heat and you know the the planet has warmed by roughly 1.2 degrees and we're seeing that reflected in the oceans and unfortunately this looks like this may this intensification may start to happen more rapidly and that's of course of particular concern to people on the coasts